Hey guys, this is Kristen with HK Wax Center. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you how to use roll-on wax. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before um, or followed my channel, you know I am a strict user and lover of hard wax. But I do know that um, there are a lot of people that are asking about hard wax, don't know how it's applied, um, just want to know what it's about. So I figured I will just do a quick video so that you can see how it's used. That way, if you want to use it, you know how it's done correctly. Um, now, it's pretty simple. Um, you will need a couple things. So obviously, the roll-on wax cartridge itself, which this is, I got this from Starpill. Um, you can see that right there. That's important. And then um, the warmer too. So this warmer comes with a lid and then you insert it um, in the hole right there. And there's also a plug. That's how you actually heat it up. So you will just insert the cartridge in the warmer, put the lid on, plug it in, um, 20 minutes. So I've had this going for right at 20 minutes and it's perfect. So before you actually do any kind of waxing, um, you need to make sure that the skin is cleansed properly. Make sure there's no oils, makeup, uh, sweat, dirt, anything like that. That way the wax won't, uh, will actually be able to adhere to your skin and hair um, and nothing will interfere with the process. So. That's a given, but make sure that you do that first. Um, and then one more thing to keep in mind before I actually do it, there, it's very important to make sure that you don't put roll-on wax or wax um, with roll-on or soft in the same area more than one time. You can only go over the area one time. Now, the difference between that and hard waxes is, is roll-on wax or soft wax will adhere to your skin. So if you go over the same area more than once, um, you risk tearing the skin and pulling the skin off with it. Now we don't want that, um, but that's one reason why I really love hard wax is that I can go over an area more than once and I have, I'm not gonna damage the skin. So keep that in mind. Hard wax, you can go over it multiple times, roll on wax or soft wax, just one time, just one time. Um, so it's pretty simple. Obviously you'll wanna take off the uh, little plastic top that covers it. And then you'll see um, this little roller right here, that's where that wax is actually gonna come out. But you'll just take it and with pressure and in the direction of the hair growth, roll up and one more time. Do two for you, just like that. Hopefully you can see that I am super pale and the wax is a light pink. So that's not the greatest combination for um, a video, sorry promise it's there. Um, so then this is super important. You need a paper strip, otherwise you're not going to be able to get it off. So have those with you. And then just apply on top. Put pressure to make sure that the uh, strip has fully adhered to the wax. And then normally I would push down at the bottom in the opposite direction and pull, but I'm just doing this one handed, so can't really do that. But uh, you will then pull off just like that. And then go back and get the rest off. Um, now one thing, there will be like a sticky residue that is left on your skin afterwards. Um, make sure you clean that off, whether it's you or your client, something like that, um, because uh, they probably won't be very happy with you if you don't and then they stick together. So don't do that. Make sure you clean it off. Um, but after that, after you clean it, you'll be fine. Um, now, I I'm not the biggest fan of soft wax or roll-on wax just because I get um, really red. My skin's really sensitive and so it reacts to it, which it doesn't do that with hard wax. So if you have a customer that is really sensitive, I would recommend hard wax. If you don't have sensitive skin, um, then, then go for a roll-on wax or soft wax. But uh, I know for me in particular, I'm just super sensitive and I'm super pale. So you put those two things together and it's not pretty. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Any questions or anything, let me know. If you have any really specific or detailed questions, I would recommend asking someone who uses this on an everyday basis or a professional basis because I don't. Like I said, I just use hard wax, um, but obviously I know how to use it because I'm a waxer and, um, and I know in aesthetic school they taught us how to do it. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, I'm always happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Uh, phone number here is 512-501-2767. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.